Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Doing my weekly update. I met my parents today doing some laundry, getting some water. I had to get up early this morning. Tim forgot his glasses, so I had to get everything loaded in my car so I wouldn't have to make several trips back and forth to the house before I got here. Took him his glasses and uh, ran and got him some coffee from the McDonald's and then he wanted breakfast to get for the guys out there and anyway um, did all that now I'm here I'm working on the laundry I'm on load number three now so then I don't have to worry about it tomorrow when we're over at the other house I've got a lot of work I gotta get done over there I need to get my grass mowed everywhere the past couple times that I've been I have just mowed right in front of the house but I told him it needs to all get done this time while I have some help so um, he's got I think he's painting pig cookers this weekend he's got two that needs to be painted and um, so I've got to get the yard done before he starts that anyway let's see what can I update you on I haven't been filming around the house. The weather's been a little on the yucky side. Today is a beautiful sunny day. Now, you know, since we've moved over to Long Acre, um, we've been wanting rain. We've been needing rain for our water catchments. We have gotten a few mists of rain no good rain showers since we got there and it's been a month now if I'm not mistaken it's been a month and the past couple days have been a light mist nothing to write home about let me tell you so I'm still going back and forth um, to my friend's house and ever at my parents house getting water to get us by and um, Let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, um, it was like a big dust storm at the house yesterday. You know, I've told you that I have fields all around where we stay at. They picked corn yesterday, and oh my gosh, that was a dusty sight. Once they got done with that, I think it was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I went on out and... Um, mowed the grass it needed it i was going to really wait till monday but i decided well they've cut the corn down i'm going to go ahead and get it done so i don't have to worry about it and and mow around my little flags that i have out and i have i love flags y'all i like the big ones that hang on the um the house flag i love those for different seasons but I really love the small ones that um, go in your yard on the little stands. I get Tim to make me stands when he has time so I can just have flags everywhere. They are my favorite are flags. I've got three out right now with um, Halloween stuff on them. And um, I have a few for Thanksgiving and a few for Christmas, but... I love to get little flags. I can never get enough little flags. I just love them for anything all year long. So, anyway, um, I'm really trying to make it homey around there. And so I try to put out little fall stuff. And I've got that done. And now I want to focus on my Christmas stuff. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, and I just love to decorate. But, this year, being we're over here at um, Long Acre, I'm not going to be putting up a big Christmas tree. And I have a smaller tree, but I really don't have a place to put that one over here. So now I need to go on search and see if I can find somebody that 
might want to give one away or something. Um, I guess like a three foot tree that would fit on top of a chest or drawer or something. Um, one that size is all I need this year. So I'm going to have to go on search and see if I can find one. I told Tim I was going to bring over my um, um, little houses, ceramic houses and stuff, and decorate. I said, do you think we'll have enough solar that I can run those? And he says, yes. So we're going to, I'm going to get those sometime next month and bring over so I can decorate that. And um, I love the holidays. I really, really do. So anyway, I've got to get ready and um, start getting cards um, to send out Christmas cards and things like that. And and uh, I'll have my wall ready at the Long Acre house. I'll have a wall just for cards. So if any of you would like to send a card... Um, I'll have m all of my information in the bottom, and everything is there. Um, my mailing address is down there. My wish list is down there. Um, everything's down there, y'all. Anyway, um, if you send a card, I will be sure to mention it on a video. So just remember that. And if you have a channel... Please make sure you put the channel name in your card so I can definitely shout you out. Because I am a small channel, and a lot of you that are watching me are small channels also. And we have to bond together so we all can grow. So make sure you put in your channel name so I can let everybody know. So anyway, I just want to throw that out there at you. Um, Tim wanted me to tell you hello. He is at work, and he knows that I'm always up here. When I come to my parents, I'll throw a video out. I don't know what day it ever comes out, but when I come, I throw a video out. So he wanted me to make sure that he told y'all, or let y'all know he said hello. And um, I'll try my best to get him up here on a video this weekend, and I'll put it out one day next week so y'all can see it. And I'd like to thank um, one of my subscribers. Um, I hope you see this. I cannot remember your name right this minute. But you had asked would I do a video um, when Tim redoes that fireplace that I showed. And I had planned on it. And thank you for asking. I really appreciate it. Um, I am going to do that. But I just want to let everybody know. For right now, whenever I can get that fireplace over to the house, I have to, I've got to find a way to get it from A to B first. Um, some of y'all don't know, um, our transmission went out on our truck. So we are truckless. Um, that, that took away my um, ability to haul my water. I had my big trash cans that I'd sit in the back of the truck and go back and forth with my water. It was so much easier. And uh, so it really sucks right now. I have no way to haul stuff. But anyway, when it rains, it pours, right? <laughs> but anyhow, I've got to see if I can find um, somebody that will come over here and pick it up and take it over there for me. Um, and um, Tim will probably rig it up for right now. Because we don't have a welder at Long Acre yet. So um, he'll probably rig it up um, for safety purposes for when we have a fire so nothing falls out of that fireplace. So um, I just wanted to let y'all know um, you might see us use it before it's ever touched in the repair mode. So anyhow. Um, but yeah, it, it, the today is really, really nice. I think I got sidetracked somehow or another today is a beautiful day you can see all the sun out for the past three days i think it has been so overcast it, it's been chilly um it has looked like it wanted to rain we got a few a few light misty showers 
nothing to accumulate in my water catchments. Now they are calling next week. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm telling you, I might have to do another rain dance. <laughs> the last rain dance I got, I think it rained for two weeks straight. So the Lord was watching when I did that rain dance. But anyway, um, they're calling for some for about four days next week. And I hope and pray we get some of that. I really, really do. Seems like just as soon as we um, got over here, the rain just stopped. So I've been hauling water all the time until the truck went out. But anyway, um... I want to thank all of y'all for stopping in and checking out our videos and um, Tim and I just really really thank y'all for sticking with us and, and understanding and knowing our predicament right now with no internet it really really sucks I'm getting so behind on watching all of the videos and I, I hope I hope that I'm really catching everybody's comments um, I, I try to go back and check, but we're human, you know, we we'll, we are subject to miss. So, um, I'm going to thank you ahead of time if you did leave a comment and I didn't see it. Thank you for leaving one. I hope I can go back and make sure that I did not over sight y'all. So, anyway, um, I'm going to get off of here. I've got to go check my laundry. And um, I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It is Friday, 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 and y'all be blessed. Thank you so much for sticking with us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for just being with us and being our friends, and, and we enjoy y'all. Look at my little fella, y'all. He is checking me out. Look at him. I hope he don't fly to me. <laughs> I have one that stays over at Long Acre, and he stays on the sliding glass door all the time. I used to be really scared of them boogers there. <laughs> they flip me out. They just scare me to death. But I'm just kind of getting used to him again. He's watching. He is really watching. Okay, guys, I totally forgot something. I was telling y'all bye and everything, and I forgot. I have a video that I need to plug in here from the other day. So, um, hang on a minute. I want to show you something real quick, and then I will tell you bye. Hey, guys, welcome to the channel. Grr, bah humbug. <laughs> I had lunch with Timmy today, and oh, that was all right. It was totally no keto today. I have not really been doing good in my keto, and I told Tim that I have really got to get back to it. Don't tell everybody. I had to. Anyway, ain't good for me, but I still ain't seen many taters. <laughs> so we stopped here and got lunch, and I got Tim the big burger. With and, everything on it. And Tim ate the big burger. Onion rings and a Pepsi. I got the small burger with the kitchen sink on it. That means everything. And then I stopped off at our Washington, North Carolina's famous hot dog restaurant. There's two in this town. There's one downtown and uptown. And... Uptown, downtown. People absolutely love these hot dogs. Now, I've grown up. <laughs> I grew up on these hot dogs. And Tim said he had them years ago. So he really couldn't remember what they tasted like. Yeah. And I wish I'd have thought about it and I'd have showed you what they looked like. But I'm just going to tell you. Um, you order the hot dog all the way. And generally, around here in North Carolina, when we ask for a hot dog all the way, it's mustard, chili, and onions. And you can ask them for slaw. Well, with this hot dog, 
They are a red hot dog, and it has mustard, onions, and chili. But this chili is not your regular hamburger hot dog chili. It is got a lot of pepper in it. A lot of kick. Yeah, it's really hot. And it's got some, they say it's made out with some beans or something. A bean base, um, flour base or something. And it's a yellowish looking color. But it's hot as heck. So when I opened it up for him to see it, um, he said, Ooh, I don't want to try that. <laughs> so anyhow, I shoved it in his face. I really wish I'd had a video on. You should have seen him. He wanted to spit it out of his mouth instantly. Oh, you don't want to tell him about it? No, I got to get back to work. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Yeah, we got to hurry up and get back to work. But it anyway. It's nasty. Okay. And spicy. I'll finish this video when I get Extremely back. Extremely spicy. Extremely spicy. Extremely spicy. All right, tell them bye. I'll get to this later. Bye. She'll get to this later. <laughs> So anyway, I wanted to put that in so you could see Tim's face when he was talking about those Beals hot dogs. People around here love them, and they come from all around to get them. Um, they're okay. To me, they're nothing to write home about. Honestly, I could care less about a Beals hot dog. But being he hadn't had them so long, I wanted him to try them again because I wanted to see him try it. If you ever come down this way to Washington, North Carolina, you need to look up Bill's Hot Dog and, and try one just to say you've had it. But anyhow, um, that is my video for today. Thank you so much for uh, tagging along with us. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.